Sif Hay, Chapter 5. So the Friedrich Rebbe is continuing in the Maimer, and the Rebbe is continuing to explain This is why a Navi, a prophet, is called crazy. Like it says in the Pasuk in regards to when the Navi approached it, why is this crazy man come? Because at the time of a revelation of a prophecy, the person needs to be completely removed from all physicality. Like the Zayar explains that prophecy only dwells upon the person when he is the, the, the Gashmis, the physicality is completely spread out. But that means it means a removal, in fact, of the intellect and of the emotions. And this is also why we see that a Navi, in at least the classical Navuim, would remove their clothes during a time when they were receiving prophecy. Like it says, in fact, in regards to Shaul, the first king, that he, before he became king, fell in with a group of traveling prophets, and he finally experienced a godly revelation, and it says, and he also removed his clothes, and he began to prophesize. The Radak, one of the commentaries on the Navi over there, explains that why is this the case? Because at that point, they are experiencing a nullification, a complete nullification of their feelings, of their, their abilities there, whether it's their intellect, whether it's their emotions, but they are not feeling themselves, and therefore they remove their clothes. Obviously, we understand that this is a nullification that is higher than understanding. Which is called shtus, as we've explained previously, this idea of seeming insanity, something which is crazy, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So this stuff perfectly falls into that category. To remove one's clothes is shtus, it's craziness. And yet, we see that a prophet, at the time when he was receiving prophecy, at the time of that godly revelation, that's exactly what happened. So now that I'm going to, so that's a quote more or less from the Friedrich Rebbe. Now that I'm going to explain why. Why? What is going on over here? However, we must understand further if this is what you're telling me, that this idea of shtus, that during a prophecy one's experiencing this removal, this havshata from Gashmias, that he's no longer experiencing physicality. That at that point, he's not experiencing his feelings of intellect and emotions. To the extent that the Nevi'im of old would actually remove their garments. Why is it then that there still is this idea of speech? The facet of speech, which is a physical ability, is still there. As we see very obviously, the whole purpose of this prophecy is that he should now reveal it, he should go say it over to others. He says it, he physically says it, a physical talent, uh, a a an ability that he has. Like it says, the Spirit of God spoke in me and his word is on my tongue. So the Rebbe explains like this. Based on that which the Magid explains, the Magid of Mizrach explains a beautiful saying of our sages. And our sages tell us, If the Tzadikim would have needed to, they could have created the world. What does this mean? What is the explanation that the Tzadikim could have created the world should they have wanted to? Heavens was created through the word of God. The Atarik Munkles explains that what does it mean that God blew into the human being, into Adam, the spirit of life, this, the ability to talk, that Hashem gave over to us his ability to speak. Obviously, when Hashem gives over the ability to speak, gives over the entire ability to speak. And therefore, the tzaddik has God's ability to speak, God's ability to create through speech. Obviously, the tzaddik's speech is completely clean and pure, just like God's. And therefore, because it's so connected to its source, it is exactly like God's speech that created the heavens and the earth. 
And therefore, they could have created the, the worlds. And this is, oh, this is the Kayach Atzmus. This is the essential godly Kayachas. Like the Alter Rebbe explains that only Hashem, who He is from His very essence, that nothing created Him. He comes from Himself, only He can create something from nothing. And that has been, been, been given over to the Tzadik in speech.